Hello everybody, this is Thomas from Denmark coming to you with a video on how to install uh, rivets or eyelets in your leather belt or leather belt type straps. This is what installed rivets look like in a bag that has a, a leather belt type strap. You can see there are holes in the leather here originally and uh, I installed the rivets. So the open enclosure works just like a belt with a buckle and the buckle goes in the holes where the rivets are. I installed these rivets because I think it looks really good and um, it turns out that it's quite easy to do, it's not very expensive and uh, it's easy to fix and repair if something goes wrong. So what you need to do to install these rivets is a hammer, you need some rivets, this is a bag of rivets that I bought in a store here in Denmark. There's 60 rivets in it and it cost me about two and a half US dollars. So it's very inexpensive. These are seven millimeter chrome rivets. Looks like that. And then you need a tool that consists of a top part and a bottom part. I think this tool was about, I, I, I don't remember, but maybe three US dollars or something. Not very expensive. One thing to keep in mind is that you need the right size tool that matches the size rivet. When this is a 7mm rivet, you need a specific tool for a 7mm rivet. If you have a rivet that is smaller, this is a bag of 5mm rivets, then you need a tool that is smaller that matches the five millimeter size. So here's the rivet and here's the tool for the five millimeter rivet. You see the difference? The size here is different and also the circle on the bottom part is different because the five millimeter rivet will fit into this one and the seven millimeter will fit into this one. So there you go. Now, as for installing, this is what it looks like in the finished product, and this is what it looks like on the back side. There can be maybe a little bit of scratching on the leather while you're working with it, um, but for me personally, it doesn't matter that much. I don't mind the back getting a few nicks and scratches here and there. As long as I don't really ruin anything, all in all. To remove a rivet, you take a pair of pliers and you kind of get a good lock on the rivet as, as best you can without scratching up the leather around it too much. And then you simply pull the leather, pull the rivet, and you can just yank it out of there by brute force. Just like that. Here you go. So this is a rivet that's been taken out. And this is the hole that it leaves afterwards. Now as you can see the hole is not very pretty afterwards. It's not ruined. Um, it's ready to install a new rivet. But the hole is not going to be very pretty. So once you've installed the rivets. There's no going back in my opinion to the the holes just bare naked without rivets. When you go rivets, you don't go back. However, you can change the size of the rivets and you can change the color of the rivets. As I just showed you, it's very easy to take out a rivet. So it's very easy to put in a new rivet afterwards. To prepare the leather for the rivets, I use an electrical drill. And uh, what I do is I take a drill that is the same size as the rivet. This is a 7 millimeter drill. And I simply just drill into the leather. Wiggle it a little bit about, making the hole the size of the rivet. Now I take the new rivet that looks like this. It's uh, straight on one end and uh, bend on the other end. The end that, that bends is the top part. 
I just push the river in here, the rivet in here, like that. And when you flip it over, you can see that it just sticks out here. The other rivets that I have done already, they're bent, grabbing into the leather. When you bang on the rivet, the end falls out like that, grabbing into the leather, holding the rivet tight. So you set in the rivet like this, and then you turn it around, because you're not banging on the, on the top part, you're banging on the bottom part. So you take the bottom part of the rivet tool, and you put it under the rivet, and you see that, that round thing there, that, that shape, that has to fit exactly into the rivet. You place the rivet on top of it like this, you can feel it locking in. So now it is locked into the bottom part. Now you take the top part of your tool, and uh, you can see here, this is the part that goes into the rivet. As you bang this into the rivet, it will bend the rivet and uh, shape the rivet to fold into the leather. So, you put that on there, you make sure that the rivet sits securely on the bottom part. You take your hammer, give it a few bangs, not too hard not too soft and as you can see here the rivet is now set in place and if you have a little leather that is sticking out or whatever you can scratch it off with your nails maybe take a little lighter to it or just take a knife and cut it off I'll do one more rivet just to show you 7 millimeter rivet put it into the hole make the rivet stick on the bottom part of the tool take the top part fit it into the rivet a few bangs oh almost took the see now i was about to make a mistake because i took the wrong top tool so i need the right one the right tool for the right job sit securely top part of the tool a few bangs look at that and it's just gorgeous, fantastic. Look at that on the other side. That's it. That's how you install a rivet. This particular bag here is from Saddleback Leather, and that's a small satchel. You may think that these rivet looks a little big, and I agree. But seven millimeters, that was the size I needed to acquire the, the belt buckle. I put in smaller rivets, but they gave me a hard time because once I had closed the bag, the rivet was so small that I had trouble opening the bag. I really had to pull it and wiggle it, and it was a real hassle. So you need to try back and forth what size of rivet you think looks good, and also what size of rivet fits your, your particular buckle. Anyways, I hope that... Uh, this video was helpful to you. You are always welcome to post any comments that you like. Thank you.